Good afternoon. <clears throat> My name is Sabatino DiNardo. I'm financial secretary of Local 85, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Mr. Mr. Chairman, Executive Vice President Graham, Secretary Treasurer Oscar Owens, we, the committee of the International Secretary Treasurer's Report, submit the following report. The committee examined and reviewed the, the report of the International Secretary Treasurer for the 56th Convention of the Amalgamated Transit Union. The audit reports were prepared by Caliber CPA Group, PLLC, Certified Public Accountants, Washington, D.C. Selected by the General Executive Board to make the audits to inspect the books and financial records covering the period July 1, 2007 through June 30, 2010 were available to the committee for inspection. The committee also had available to it internal ATU general ledger detailed reports upon which the audit reports were based. All questions raised by the committee were discussed, satisfactory answers were found to the same. In response to the recommendations by the International Secretary Treasurer's Committee of the 55th Convention, the committee found that an independent investment consultant was retained to monitor the investments of the international. The committee found in accordance with Section 37 of the International Constitution and General Laws that the reports of the accountants were published and copies of the published reports were forwarded to each local union except the report for the six months ended June 30, 2010 which will be forwarded to each local union later this month. Finally, the committee found the union to be in a sound financial condition. The committee also found that the labor organization bonds were obtained, issued to each local union, joint bargaining council, and the joint service council as prescribed in section 36 of the International Constitution and General Laws. The premiums for these bonds were prepaid by the bonding and indemnity fund, the cost of which were subsequently reimbursed to the fund over the ensuing three years. The committee noted that allocations are periodically made from the general fund to the convention fund in order to ensure that sufficient funds would be available to pay for the cost associated with our conventions. The committee believes this allocation provides for a sound method of accounting for future costs. In conclusion, the committee would like to commend the work of International Secretary Treasurer Mr. Oscar Owens and to express its appreciation to him. We also wish to thank International Controller Nancy Trumbull and her Assistant Controller Shelley Thompson for their appearance before the committee and for their assistance to the financial secretaries and treasurers of the local unions. Mr. Chairman, I would like to personally thank the members of the Secretary Treasurer Report Committee for their hard work and otherwise express all of our appreciation and for the thoughtful assistance of our esteemed International Vice President, Mr. Rodney Richmond, and Sister Gwen Harris for her assistance as Secretary of this committee to bring this report to a conclusion. Mr. Chairman, the, the committee moves that the report be accepted by the delegates in attendance at this convention. You have heard the IST report. Is there any discussion? Being no discussion, all those in favor of adoption say aye. aye. All those opposed say no. The report has been adopted. Thanks for that. I'd like to call on Sister Harris to read the names of the members of the committee, and thank you. Good afternoon. We would like to thank uh, Sam Bettino De Niro, who is the chairperson, myself, Gwendolyn Harris, financial secretary, local 788 St. Louis, Paul Doucette, local 107, Deborah Johnson, Local 192, Daniel Rysick, Local 241, Clyde Beckman, Jr., Local 256, Jim Haddad, Local 279, Merlin Perkins 
Hooker, Local 308, Jim Algier, Local 382, Claude Doucette, Local 569, Rick Ratcliffe, Local 583, Paul Neal, Local 587, Kevin Malee, Local 618, Edward Reed, Local 694, Daniel Casella, Local 726, Don McKnight, Local 758, Clarice Tabron, Local 819, Joseph Frank, Local 842, John Cavanella, Local 880, Julio uh, Riviera, excuse me, Local 880, Norman Brewster, Local 1028, Michael Hale, Local 1070, Benny Kaufman, Local 1179, James Lindsay, Local 1277, Robert Roach, Local 1287, Betred Deloach, Local 1300, Joseph Gocher, Local 1309, Johnny Wilson, Local 1338, Ken Sunberg, Local 1415, Stephen Fine, Local 1447, Donna Davis, Local 1564, Nicholas By, Local 1572, Patty Cease, Local 1572, um, Peter Brown, local, I'm sorry, Patty Cease's local 1576, excuse me. Peter Brown, local 1587. William Chase, local 1764. And we would too like to thank Nancy Trumbull and Shelley Thompson staff, and as well as IVP Rodney Richmond. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.